Okay, uh, this tutorial, once again, is in a series requested by uh, Godblood2, which is um, basically taking commands he knows in Bash and seeing how to do similar things in Python. They were looking at uh, wget. wget is a program that does a lot of stuff other than just download files, but that's what we're looking at today, how to download a file. We're going to download a JPEG file and save it to our hard drive. Uh, using Python. Now there are a lot of modules in Python that allow you to do this. There's the curl module, there's HTT lib modules, uh, but today we're going to be looking at just a URL lib uh, 2 module, which is just the one I picked. Uh, no particular reason, it's pretty simple to use. So um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to import that module, download the file, uh, basically to memory and within Python, it will be an object within Python, then we're going to open an empty file, put that data in there, and close the file. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to just start up the Python console here. I'm running Python uh, 2.7.1, and uh, first thing we're going to do is import. The module I'm going to use is called URL lib2. That is important. Now we can use all the functionality of it, and it does a lot more than just downloading files, but that's all we're looking at today. Next, we're going to create an object, and this object is going to uh, contain the information from the image we're going to download. I'm just going to call that object F for file, but once again, you can call it uh, pro within reason, whatever you'd like. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the output of the JPEG file that we're going to download and put it into that F, but to download it we need to use the module we imported, which is URL lib2. And then the function we're going to use of that is dot URL open. And then inside parentheses we just give it the URL that we want to download. So inside single quotes, I'm going to say, or double quotes, the, don't think it makes big a difference in this case, but you want to put it inside quotes because it's a string. We're going to give it a link, and I'm just going to give it a link of a image of tux that I just found online. So there we go. We are creating an object. That object's going to contain the information that our URL lib open URL function downloads of this image. No errors. So it in theory, it downloaded that image, but we can't see that image because it's it's not saved to our hard drive. It's in memory. It's 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 out in la la land. So next, we need to create an object, uh, a file object, and put that data in there. And we do this very similar to how we open files to read them. Only we're going to open it to write to it. Uh, I'm going to call this object JPEG. That's just what I'm choosing. To name it once again. You can call that within reason, whatever you'd like. I'm going to say open. And we're going to open up a file. I'll call it .png. So it's going to save it to the to the present working directory under that file name. So you can call it whatever you want to download it as. And I am going to instead of read, I'm going to write. So if this file exists, we're going to overwrite it. If we needed to append to it, I could put an A, but we don't want to append to it because this is an image and that won't work right. So we're going to write a whole new file or overwrite whatever files there. Okay, so that file is created and it's open. It's waiting for you to do something with it. We're going to say that JPEG object that is open right now. Well, we're going to write to it. And we're going to write the information from our object up here that we created, F. And we want to read all the data in that. So dot read, parentheses. And we'll hit enter. Okay, so we downloaded the file. We put that file into, uh, we download the image, we put that image into a file, we put all that data into that file, and now uh, the only thing we really left to do is, to be proper about it, we're going to jpeg.close to close that file. Ta-da! Now if I hit Control-D to get out of the Python console here and I type ls, you can see we now have a file that exists in here called 1.png. I can display 1.png using image magic here, so display at 1.png, and there we go. That is the file we just downloaded from the internet. Uh, now, it doesn't have to just be JPEG files. Uh, you know, I named it PNG here, even though it's a JPEG file. Image magic didn't seem to care. Um, but you probably would want to name it the proper extension in most cases. So that's just a typo that didn't really give any problems, any issues this time around, but keep that in mind. I'm just used to working with PNGs. Um, so 
we can do this with other types of files, especially just plain text files. We can look at the HTML code of a website. Um, and we don't even have to save it to a file. We can just display it on the screen. So let's start up Python again, just by typing Python. And once again, we'll, we'll import URL lib, the URL library version two. So that's imported. And I'm going to say F, I'm creating an object called F. I'm going to use our module URL lib two dot URL open. And I'll just give it a link, http colon forward slash forward slash films by chris.com. Great site. If you haven't been there, I suggest you check it out. Okay. So it just grabbed all the HTML code from that website. So where is it? It's still in La La Land. Let's put it into another. Now we could just type f.read and then parentheses and we'll display it, but it will we'll only display it once and then if we try to do it again it won't exist. So we should take that text and put it into a string object. So I'll just call it site. That's the object I'm creating. You don't have to call it site. It's like a variable. You can name it within reason whatever you'd like. I'll try to avoid spaces and special characters. Okay, so we're going to do that. We're going to create that object and we're going to put into that object everything we've read from that object, which is our website, the F object. So now I can say print site and hit enter. And voila, we have all the HTML code with all the tags of my website. So now you can search through that, grab stuff with it, whatever you want to do with it. So that is very, very basic. There's a lot more when it comes to communications, but if you just need to download files, um, that's the base of it. Obviously, if there's password protected or if you need cookies and other stuff like that, um, there's other functionalities in URL lib. And also, like I said, there's a curl module and an HTTP lib and, and there's a few other ones as well. There's a lot for communication across the network. Uh, Python makes it all easy and a lot of them duplicate the functionality of one another, but some are, are definitely better in some situations than other. But basic downloading files, this is it. Check out the first link in the description. I will try my best to remember to post uh, the script we just wrote to download a JPEG file and save it to a JPEG file, not a PNG file. Um, so go ahead and check that out. I also recommend you type it out by hand though. It will help you learn better, remember better. But if you're having issues, you can download my script at that first link in the description. I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. And I hope that you have a great day.